Does she live with you most of the time? No, her father has primary custody because of my hours. She stays with me. Hey, he speaks. How's Delos treating you so far? It's been good to see Allison. <laughs> she's been talking nonstop about you lately. I know she's happy to have you here. Hey, been meaning to say, Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. You were spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. Thanks. They have a really hard time hiring, because I won't lie, it's tough work. And some of the people they do hire don't give a shit about the kids, you know? I knew I could do some good if I stayed, so I did. Yeah, like I said, they were lucky. Service is a calling few people are willing to answer. I um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE, you know, give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. JCE? You know, Juno Coalition for Equality. Oh. Oh. <coughs> Do people around here know? No. So, keep it under your hat. You know how it is out here. Yeah, for sure. Anyways, sorry for the rant. All right. Incident report states you called yesterday at 6.13 a.m. because someone vandalized your mailbox. Day to give a statement? Um, I had to be in surgery at night. So I got your oh, note. Right I'm sorry, I forgot your birthday. I got so Says wrapped here, up with Tyler coming in. Totally That's right. I'll that make sure it up to you, I promise. It certainly is. Good morning, Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? <sighs> What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about our mother. Look, now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? Excuse me. Come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. Oh, I hate when he's stubborn like that. So what now? <laughs> of course, Miss Torres. Where were we? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her file? I don't know. The archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive. Go big or go home. All right. Incident report states you called yesterday at 6.13 a.m. because someone vandalized your mailbox. Officer Vincenzi was dispatched to your home at 6.29 a.m. But you couldn't stay to give a statement? Um, I had to be in surgery at night. I was already running behind. Of course. Says here you work at Cottonwood Hospital? That's right. That sure is a commute. It certainly is. What's your usual working hours? I'm a surgical resident at one of the only hospitals in South Carolina. Tyler Ronan. I'm basically Good to see you again. You've uh, gotten yeah, tall. That usually happens between ages 11 and 21. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, uh, welcome home. Thanks. It's been a while. So, what brings you two around? Uh, we just can't get enough of the fluorescent lights and smell of old takeout. <laughs> oh, come on. It's not that bad. So is there anything I can help you with? Busy day around here? No. Well, the fire alarm went off three times in the span of an hour this morning. <laughs> I thought the chief was going to rip that alarm right off the wall. So, Tyler, chief said you were a mentor over at Fireweed, huh? You ever think of joining the force? Greg's. He just got here. Yeah, I know, but we could use more people like him. People like me? Well, well, yeah. You know, people with natural authority. Are you really trying to recruit my brother? 
Huh, and why not? We're short-handed right now. And, since you've shot down my offers, I figured <laughs> I'd try the other Ronin kid. Wouldn't hurt to lower the average age around here, I guess. Could you go through the full details of your morning with me, Dr. Torres? Of course. Now, where was I in this report? Okay. Ah, right. Got ready for work. Oh, hey, uh, sorry, Tyler. I better finish this or Wilson has a conniption. So I will go up at six. Grabbed the mail the night before. Isabella asked to come with me, so I helped her into her coat and boots before we went out. Hey, what are you two up to over there? Everything all right? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We're just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency, lake water, you know, Mother Nature's juice cleanse. And there's a bathroom just past the break room. It's behind you. First door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. There must be another way up. Uh, you know, Greggs was talking about a fire drill earlier. Are there any kind of fire exits? Oh my god. Why didn't I think of that? Lobby. Now. Could you go through the full details of your morning with me, Dr. Torres? You head now? Was going through our mailbox. My back went to it because I was shutting the door. Yeah, I need a smoke. You should think about quitting. It only gets harder the longer you do it. Yeah, I know. While you're at it, get your sister to stop too. up to a staircase on the side of the building, but it'll definitely be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and it'd open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait, really? Got a better idea? Not really, no. Right, let's go. Oh, hey, uh, sorry, Tyler. I'd better finish this or Wilson has a conniption. Guess I probably can't trip the circuit breaker, but I could turn the lights off. Just go. Improvise. Oh. Oops. Tyler.
All right. I'm in position. What now? Turn right when you exit the station and follow the side of the building. <sighs> There's winter air. Okay. I'm by the door. Come on. Here, open the door. Quick, get in. Oh god, what did I just do? You took control of your destiny. Own it. The police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events? Huh? Oh, yeah. The community social. He volunteered to help. And since he pretty much knows everyone, and more importantly, who's called the cops on who, he's in charge of the seating chart. If Eddie catches us in here... There's no turning back now. Let's put the Vecchies next to... Can you not? Brown really wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is, doesn't he? He's a genuinely good person. And saying that here makes me feel even worse. How old is Brown? 38. Oh, wow. Graduated really young. Youngest officer to ever join the DCPD. You finding anything? No. Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. Why is Brown on a first name basis with the director of Fireweed? Oh. What'd you find? It's an invoice. Eddie Brown, you'll find it and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The Fireweed Administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us. Looks like he's working with the Office of Child Services on the case. None of our business. You applied to a summer drama program back in 2009? I did, but they rejected me. Michael and I were supposed to go together. He went, but I was stuck here for the summer with no one but Justin Beaver for company. Why? Well, uh, this letter says you got in. What the hell? So he just turned it down? I'm sorry, Allison. Shouldn't be surprised he's lied to me in the past. Oh, personnel files, department budget. Huh, the Dallas police force is getting a new officer. This guy has a record and not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh. Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't think he has a choice. There's always a choice. Aw, look at you. Allison Ronan, perfect daughter. Can we stay focused, please? Seriously? You're gonna try to hack- Whoa, Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? What does that mean? I don't, I don't know. But there's a reference number. R68653. Huh. Tom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Does he? Support Tom?
One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's gotta be where our file is. Huh. Hey, you. Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then how am I supposed to open the door? I spent hours playing next to this room. I'd see people go inside all the time. The keypad does this little tune. Dum da dee do. <laughs> Seriously? Go on, try. I don't think that's the right order. How did that tune go again? Dum da dee do. You're pressing the wrong numbers. The first two seem to be right. Uh, looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. Great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half-ton sorting system. Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? Because if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. R68653. Look it up. Look it up, she says. Okay. Nope. Not this one either. Uh, where's the damn box? No, that's not it. Nope. Well... Huh. What was that reference number again? 05R68653. <sighs> Not this one either. No, that's not it. You finding anything?
Here we go. Looks like a step-by-step -step record of the investigation. Well? So far, I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings, though. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Even if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the appendix. All right, I'm in. You can search by keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan, March 1st, References 05R61889. Check out zero five R sixty one eight eighty nine. There. I found a summary of everything. Wow, this is a real detective novel. Brown's quite the wordsmith. He's not a writer, Tyler.
Been there. Done that. Yellow's Crossing Police Department. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello. I, I can hear you. It it's my mom. She, she fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. We're home. Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you give me your address? Tw 12 Cannery Road. Please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up! There might be other references on the computer. Yellow's Crossing Police Department. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello. I can hear you. It, it's my mom. She... she fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. We're home. Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you give me your address? Tw 12 Cannery Road. Please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up! Reference is 05 R63 325.
Nope. You finding anything? Just give me a minute. It's a mess in here. Come on, we need to hurry. Okay, here it is. Well, that's a picture I definitely don't want to keep. Here. Bingo. Okay. I need to check out zero five zero one C O M E B R. services. What? Where are you? What's going on? Reference is 05R68MISC. Ready, Brown. Hello, Officer Brown. This is Simone Prue from the Office of Child Services. Hello, Mrs. Prue. I'm calling about the Ronin family. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will be moving forward with the case. 
Ah, uh, I see. Is there anyone additional we should interview while we're in the area? Yeah, um, Samuel Kansky is a close friend of the family. Uh-huh. K-A-N-S... K-Y. Great. Your caseworker, Sandy Black, will be arriving on March 5th. She'll drop by the station first thing in the morning. Mrs. Pru, how worried should we be? Mm, I really can't say until I have a full picture of the situation. Of course. Well, have a good afternoon, Mrs. Pru. You too, sir. I just listened to Brown chatting with OCS. He really did it. He reported her. What if he was just a go-between? He might not have had a choice. We need to keep digging. Need to check out 2014-203-411. Not this one either. No, that's not it. Well... Here it is. Huh. Nothing helpful. There might be other references on the computer. There was something about complaints, right? Look for that. <sighs> references 2014-201-496. Here we go. Not helpful at all. There was something about complaints, right? Look for that. Here. Bingo. Okay. I need to check out 2005-201-546. No, that's not it. There. Wait, what the hell? Tessa accused her of child neglect. Need to get moving. Shit. I'm sorry, Tyler. I couldn't stop him. He's coming your way. Get out. Uncle, I... We didn't mean I'm to... I'm not gonna repeat myself. You're a goddamn hypocrite. I said move it! H hey! <laughs> get off me! You'd rather spend the night here? Come on! I said, don't fucking touch me! Go on! 
and consider yourselves lucky your family. Huh. You want to talk about family, Eddie? I guess family calls social services when you're having a hard time, huh? And then breaks the law to gloat that you're gonna lose your fucking kids. It's your fault she lost it, Eddie. You, and Tessa, and everyone else in this goddamn town. Okay. Let's talk. The winter before your mother's death was hard. Delos Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and plane supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. You know, I'm, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. You're saying Tessa reported her mother because she was having supply issues? Tessa came to me because she was honestly concerned. <laughs> right. I was legally required to report Tessa's complaint, even if I didn't agree. So you took her word for it and called child services? Failure to provide adequate food, lack of appropriate supervision, Inattention to a child's psychological care? Like it or not, she had a case. What? It's bullshit. Just following the law then. Right. Is that why you came over that day, before she died? You felt shitty, didn't you? That's why you broke procedure? I had to warn her that it was happening and that it wasn't looking good. An assessment worker had been assigned and started doing background checks. What else was I supposed to do? I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. I'm, I'm truly sorry. Thank you, uncle. Just like that, huh? Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but you have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. I'm sorry, Eddie. It's not that easy. You're right about one thing, though. It's time we move on. See you around, Chief. Uncle? I, uh... It's all good, Allison. Let's have a talk. Can we go? I need to get out of here. What 
Allison. What? You feel like shit. How can you tell? Because I feel like shit. What are we gonna do about Tessa? Nothing. Look, we're not gonna do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa? Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she? Oh my god. Ch children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be all right, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Where is everybody? Tessa's gotta be around somewhere. I think I'm hearing something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. But given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? On it. I stopped to take a leak just as I was finishing up. What do I see? A big old bull. <laughs> 